much of the day. Are we in the calm before tomorrow's <laughs> big storm? Yeah, this is the uh, calm before the storm. A beautiful sunset taking shape as we take a live look outside on the Corbinado.com Valley Sky Cam, part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network. That sun setting here in just a few minutes, and that sun helped warm us up into the low 80s here in Fargo. We've cooled off just a touch down into the low 70s, 73 degrees. Those winds out of the northeast at 14 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere, a mix of some 60s and some 70s. 66 degrees up in Langdon, 72 in Grand Forks, 64 in Roseau and Bedette. Those your two cool spots. Winds variable primarily out of the northeast and east. They'll start to shift around to the southeast as we head through the overnight hours tonight. They'll be strong and gusty out of the southeast tomorrow, 15 to 25 miles per hour with some occasional stronger gusts. Cloud cover getting on out of here off towards the east, but here comes more cloud cover making its way in from the southwest underneath the clouds that we do have. No precipitation in our area, but not too far off toward the south. Some showers are starting to develop in southeastern or northeastern portions of South Dakota, lifting slowly off towards the north. Don't have to worry about those. What we will have to worry about are these storms well off towards the west and the southwest. Tornado watch continues for parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Another severe thunderstorm watch off towards the west. These storms, we're going to get two waves of storms as we head through the day tomorrow. We'll show that to you in the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. The first wave will be weakening storms from those uh, storms on going down in portions of Nebraska, Wyoming, and that makes its way off towards the northeast. Now, the trend will be for this first wave to weaken slightly as it gets into our area, but tomorrow morning we'll have a risk for some potentially damaging winds and maybe some marginally severe hail. Then this will lift off towards the east and a northeast as we go through the rest of the morning and weaken. Then a break in the action, maybe. We could see a few more showers and storms forming behind this. And then as the afternoon wears on, even more showers and thunderstorms. And some of these could be strong and perhaps severe. And the risks out of these will be damaging winds, damaging hail, and potentially even some tornadoes. So keep it tuned to the latest forecast as we head through the day tomorrow. Storm Prediction Center has put much of the area in an enhanced risk for severe weather. That's above the slight risk. So a pretty high risk for some severe weather as we head through the day on Tuesday. Here in Fargo, we'll start off the day with that chance for some showers and storms in the morning, a break at lunchtime, and then more showers and storms as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. The key for the afternoon and evening storms will be how much energy do we get, how much sun do we get between the two rounds of storms, and how much destabilization happens. Picture of the day, some mammatus clouds with lightning, thanks to Casey for sending that in. Going to use that as the background to our seven-day forecast. Good chance for storms tomorrow. Two waves of them, both could be severe quieter as we head through the rest of the week. Over the weekend, Father's Day weekend, a slight chance for a few showers and storms. So keep it tuned to the latest forecast as we head through your Tuesday, and we'll let you know what's going on. Okay, thank you, Robert. You